Vista is going to be a little bit uh, taking the back foot here, but it does allow you to play through this mid and top side. First time we're going to be seeing Fofo on the twist, and Fate has not picked it Way towards here, just to make sure that he can crash the wave. Well, look, my look for the dive. See the look for the dive there. Cube in a little bit of trouble. There's the flawless to have flashed away. He will get stunned under though, and does not get himself out first. Oh, Hong is in mid. Doom B gets flashed on, gets knocked up, gets pun punted back. They do get the gold card down, and there with Lian, this kill is all but confirmed. Fofo gets oh, the different advantages towards letting their happenings going, but Shockwave is landed. Flash for Fofo is available. Nuggery just a little bit too far behind. Not really going to be in a position. As I say that, Flash gold card. He goes in underneath the tower, but Nuggery now has no escape. They will be able to get him. The no, shield. he to the shield. Flash from Leian does secure the kill. LWX alone. And now you've got double globals that could go bot side. No Flash as well. <laughs> And LWX takes a massive chunk of his health bar. He needs to give up this entire wave on the bot side, as we can see there. Flash forward, as we can see, jumping straight in on top of Rookie. There is the shockwave that brings Fofo forward again. Doombie's still alive. He had enough mana to get himself to protect. They get a gold card down. Crisp does keep Tien. himself there. Tien is there. Flash, bear, slap, almost going to be in range. Doesn't need a Chris takes the kill. Still got a flash bear slap available to him. Cube in a little bit of trouble. Smite goes down. They're going to get the Vanguard's Edge, not sorry, not the Vanguard Edge, the Flawless Duet down, and that's going to be more advantages. And this is the explosive early game you were talking and about. This is the big thing that is the difference between Beishuan and Tien. Now that Tien is back, FPX are much more willing to play around Nugger in the top side, and they can start to play around this. Really oh. strong top. Magnet Storm, attract Repel. They are tanking it very nicely, though, for RA. Crisp still alive, though. Wait. And Crisp is still able to keep himself there. They will get Eyeboy to hop out. Two kills come in, but that was a little close. That, that played the Rune King completed. It means he can chase down Cube so aggressively in these lanes, but they need to start to open up this top side. Also, one of the big things that TF was struggling with. Oh, that could be big. There is no flawless duet. There is a flash available. Vanguard dead in. Will he be able to get him down? They are going to get the Gnar into the wall. Oh, that was close. Fear. Fear is going to be a little bit harder. And now Cube in a little bit of trouble in this top side. Shockwave is available should they want to use it. Yep, it actually drags him back towards the turret. It's going to be doing me tanking up, but it's enough damage there. TM picks himself up a second kill of the game. And this is what I actually expected IG to do against Ore, but FPX are just doing a better job of it. Punishing Cube in this top side. Whether it's going to be Nugger who's picking up the kills or Doombie, you're perfectly happy to get both your solo laners ahead in mid, though. Oh, flash burned, and the Everfrost with the gold card on top of the fear. Where can you go, Nuggery? There's the Destiny Gate on top of Crisp, who gets locked down as well. He has flash, but he's not going to be able to get away too quick. That. There is a red buff on to LWX. Flash forward, LWX is just a little bit in tow, and yet yeah, Tien picks up another one. They knew there was That's no structure, flash. and this is where FPX get dangerous. They will look for picks, they will look for skirmishes as these terrorists start for the Rift Herald topside. They're like, look, we don't care about these dragons right now. If we can just crack open these structures. Well, they're on the upside for Fofo. Stridebreaker, oh, there we go, going straight in on top of this bot lane as they can try to get in. Lian has got enough damage, got enough fear, not going to be able to land the flawless duet and the knockback on top of Tien. Flash forward from Hong as he tries to go in, but the Magnet Storm is ridiculous! They're still going in, iBoy has the damage, iBoy has the resets, Destiny Gate makes this a completely unfair fight, you can see Doonby walking down, it was all there, triple! Is going, you need to make sure you're not getting caught. And honestly, Ore are in a really good spot here, because they look so damn strong. He started to touch on towards items, well, Kraken Slayer, Phantom Dancer for iBoy, he's monstrous. When you look towards Vovo, he's actually going straight As towards started. that... Everyone kind of moving in, see if they want to go for something. Destiny Gate has been popped. There's the paranoia, it goes straight in on top of the dragon, but it's a little bit too late. Dragon goes over the side of FBX. Here we go, Shockwave on the Vanguard's Edge. It's just ridiculously huge. Double kill for Tien. There is the stun down onto the Gnar as well. The Baron buff knocking at your door. Yeah, and the 1-3-1 one, one, that you can just kind of go split split push yourself to victory right now in FBS. It's get this vision denial, play towards Nuggery, make sure you can't have Fofo come and, come and try and pick off Nuggery in the side lane. Oh, they're going to come straight in on Stride top Breaker. of Cube, Stridebreaker, and there's nowhere for him to go. No point in even flashing, but now with a minute 30 left in this Baron, you have no Gnar, you have no real engage here from the side of RA. FBX can keep pushing, you have Twisted Fate in the top side. I think they just give this up, there's nothing they can do. Yeah, and this was the call. This is what they should have done at Dragon. This is what they could have got, but instead now, a Baron up FPX is taking your inhibitor, and they may not stop.
They're going to keep going off this. You still have a minute and 10 seconds left on this Baron. You have no real wave clear here outside of the Twisted Fate. He's going to be forced to TP out. They might still just lose a Nexus turret. So now you're half of your Nexus bear. Hong is behind them, but he's been spotted on a pink, and now he's in no man's land. Yeah, and he's got nowhere to go. I mean, you have put Tien back in. You're kind of screwed, and Hong, where are you off to, buddy? He's going to go with They're committing. They're committing to the team fight. They're TPing in as well with the Nard. They're trying to go in. Flash forward. He's going to try and get on top of LWX. It's not going to be enough, though. Doom B goes gold. And now the fight can do the Vanguard days. As we can see, Nuggery on the backside. The Shockwave is enough to kill off Hung. There we can see Cube trying to get Mega. They're trying to kite this one out. Flash forward from TN. The Man Bear Pig is just too damn big. Cube. Here comes Cube. He gets two men into the wall. This fight's not quite over just yet. Might just be now, though, as FBX finally pick him off. And with all these low health bars, everyone's TPing back in. Nuggery on this Aurelia has nothing left to say except this is my game one. FBX with the Baron, with the team fight win, going for the Nexus. And it's at 24 minutes, the fastest Phoenix continues here as Ore are left looking at their base in shambles. They are looking at their base in shambles. FBX just need to hit the Nexus. Could be a little bit difficult, They're so though. Low. They're so low, and iBoy could get reset. There's one. Tien not quite going down, though. Crisp in a little bit of trouble. One, two. Can he get more? He's going to get two B. Three. Not going to be able to get LWX, but an agree will be four. Eye boy, the MVP from the first series with a quad. Like the bear nexus, despite your bot lane getting just pushed all the way in. There is mid. They're grouping a five and trying to keep all this pressure up and not give Ore the opportunity to take over. But unfortunately for them, they just don't have control. FPA. But he's not quite out of the woods just yet. They're going to use the Destiny Gate, the Paranoia, the Shockwave. Eye Boy's dead. The damage you had for the side of RA is just not there. And FBX have found the pick. The Vanguard's Edge onto the backside to see if they can take down Cube. Only the top laner and the ADC are dead. But the rest of FBX are fully alive and healthy. They can just look for the end. They can honestly keep going to the base. Yeah, Tien is just being a pro. He's just going to tank it up. Say, FPX, I've opened the doors. The red carpet is laid out. Let's get to a game two. This is finally the win here for FBX. It was a little bit of a fantastic base defense there for iBoy and RA, but they're not able to FBX do it. win 81%, RA 19. And that is the, oh, there we go. There it is, the Akali. Now you did a little bit of digging there onto the L solo queue. Both junglers are on this bottom side. Cleanse has to be burnt there. The traps go down, stops LWX as well as Chris. Tien does have flash and the Sky Splitter attack repel. First blood to LWX. And the punch. Whereas for FPX, they have a kind of a multiple options here as Pong is they dead again. Do have multiple options. They are going to be at the Blade World. The Beyblade goes Ooh. in. It'll go anywhere. I can just keep sustaining in the jungle forever, which does end up meaning that Tien, with the Ionian Boots and Lucidity, is kind of in a better. I think you should be fine here, but there we go. Flash forward on top of Hong, who does get himself away just about the Blade World. The Ignite, the auto attack is good enough, and LWX is making this pick work. We can see him. They don't lose anything in terms of kills, but LWX oh, can just go on. on this. You're not really in a position to fight this. Oh, as I say, that great fillet, and now Thresh picks himself up. Solo again. escapade to see if he can get it. Bot side going well, though, as Ore mid. Well, Fofo gets jumped on, but Fofo should be fine. The exhaust was there off of the spell book. We can see Tien now getting jumped on. Has to use the Stormbringer to disengage. The Dominus is there. The flash away from Doombi. He's got himself the sustain. Right breaker finish for Doombi in that mid. The power items that have already with the mythics completed are just too strong for FPX. Just trying to see if he can get Tien into position, but already there straight away. Cube's like, nope, want nothing to do with this, and they're trading towers across the map. Yeah, that's the big one. Yeah, Leanne already moving down. And again, I like that already coming in. From TP Nuggery. is coming in. That's going to be on the bot side. So they know this is a little bit of a split fight. The turret goes down. This is the flanks we're talking about, though. Fofo doing a good job to spot it out but FPX are coming in from multiple angles, which makes it so difficult for Ore. Yeah, it does make it a little bit difficult. Stridebreaker forward, the Dragon down to about 2,000 HP. They go in, they're gonna try and steal it. It is stolen. Leanne gets that Infernal Drake, the hook there onto Doombi to stop LWX. it going in. They found LWX, that is the Samira dead, and the Jinx getting excited. Doombi trying to see if he can do something with Nuggery, trying to see if they can just dance around this fight. It's a fight on two fronts. The Renekton is dead. The Akali picks up the Zin Zhao. The perfect execution right on top of him, but Nuggery might be caught out here is a sleepy trouble bubble the flay the damage he's got not really a lot left in the tank and fofo cleans that the demonic embrace so now fpx 
could look to turn this, but the range is really difficult for RA. You can see there. You, just... you can see there FBX just being kept up, kept popped up by the honey fruit. The TP is not even going to be on the flag, it's going to be straight there. Tien. Stolen by Tien. And do we have a fight after this? Doom Beast, Stripe Breakers forward. You've got a lot of disengage, a lot of range. Flash forward by Chris as he tries to go in, but they jump straight in on top of Nuggery. It's a fight on two fronts. Cube jumps in on top of the Akali as he tries to get himself out. Forced to flash away. Still have Eye Boys, still have lots of different ways of chasing down these kills. It will be Cube who falls. Soul point for FBX. They get a kill. They even get a kill. goes down. There's no longer someone who can play that front line as Hung. Oh, perfectly executed, but is he gone a little bit too far? No flash, remember, and no real way out. Can he get himself the kill? It's Jinx downtown. Tick picks it up with the there's mega no ward here. Really, that Nuggery can play off. He needs to play so far back because he knows there's vision there. Or a will spot Nuggery on the entrance as Doombie makes it into the pit. Here we go. Doombie goes in. He pops the dominance. He's, He's taking so much damage, though, and he gets the Sterex. Eye Boy is dead, though, as they try and get in. LWX flashes forward onto cube and picked him off as well you can see nuggery on the back line just separating ra to the four winds and the rest of ra are scattered they are almost certainly dead if they stay around and the infernal soul is fbx's what did i boy do he had flash and cleanse he had all the time in the world to get away from that play but i don't know what happened he just died We'll have to wait to see it going, going in, but actually, you actually see Fofo being taken out by that Samira right there. So it ends up going to be a full ace coming out here for FBX. They get five kills. They lose. And now again, we can have Nuggery play off in the side lane with the farm buffs in with Doombi. LWX, very heads up play to keep Chris alive there. He's able to uh, swallow up that super mega deck drop. But I need to see this replay. I need. I think this is just easy peasy for FPX. I mean, look, at the end shoving in mid. He goes for the engage. He I goes boy. for an I boy again. Just so greedy with his summoners, and he's just dead and buried. That was as simple as you like. Tien just runs at him. Nothing that they could possibly even see, you know, kind of to be creative about. And they get everything out of it. They've gotten the bot lane tier, or sorry, inhibitor turret. They're going to be able to push onto these nexuses. You have no real wave clear here for RA. You have no way of stopping this push. And this is going to be game two, series point for the side of FBX. I boys adding the lemon squeezy to this easy peasy for FPX. And honestly, I think for a lot of these fans for RA, it's going to leave a sour taste in their mouth. 2-0 up in the series. FBX one away from challenging JDG in the top side. There is the Aatrox locked and loaded there for FBX. They're going to chuck that one up into the top side for Nuggeri. As we see now, everyone's swipping and swapping. No, Fofo they need to scale up, where it's FPX who need to have influence on the map. Well, this from Leanne, though, he recognized that there was no real way that the side of you know FBX's jungler could have gotten those Krogs up in time. Nuggeri Stunned. One more Q. Flash. No! Doesn't have enough. And there's enough lifesteal and the pop. But now Nuggery is going to be dove underneath her. Leon is here. Has got flash available. The outplay potential is there. Never mind. Cube gets enough with the trial. Again, or hey, they're playing this early game so well. We'll say again, Nuggery does still have his flash. Did not use it as that last wave or that last dive was coming in. But now. Tien is coming off. He might be a little bit too late. There's the World Ender, the Dominus. The Dustbringer does land. The Flash is there, but it's just not enough to keep him there and alive. Lay N, 3 0 0. This. Unless they're looking for the pick on Cube, that could potentially work, but not contesting Rift. Yeah, Cube. Trying to see if he can get that second play. Flash forward there by Tien. They lock him in. They get him down. Nuggery gets a kill. Nicely done there by the side of FBX. First Drake does go over the side of Rare Atom. They get themselves that first stack. They've got themselves a better 2,500 gold lead. And this early on, it's in this top side, Nuggery has to play so defensively. The rest of his supporting cast needs to join him, but there's no way he can defend this tower. There we go. Flash in with the paranoia. They're trying to see if they can burn him down, and they will. Now you got the two tanks. Yes, you have the volley bear. Yes, he's got a little bit of damage, but can he? get enough off on here. Teleport's going to be channeled in by both mid laners as they pop down the Shreema's legacy. We can see Leanne going to be sacrificed as everybody else from the side of RA just focused down on the TN. They will take him down. Cube does get Shockwave back. They are hyper aware of how far behind they are and they are looking to hold on for maybe when Doombi is not safe underneath this tower right now.
He has got a Shockwave and Flash. Here we go. There's the Paranoia just dropped down. Shockwave brings him back, but he's already dead. Nowhere for him to go. Liam picks up that kill. And now you have all this free time in this mid lane, and you're trying to force something bot now for FBX because you know you're just losing around the map. And it's so oppressive to play against a fed Nocturne like this because he goes towards Maokai, which may need to be thrown out here. Oh, never mind. We're going to see the Paranoia straight away. Shockwave does get him away, though. And this might be a little bit of an overstep. You can see there Nuggery with the World Ender. They're going to have to use the Emperor's Divide, but jump straight back in. But Chris, you're by yourself, buddy. No one can join you. Flash forward by LWX, so it does find Fofo. And now one for one trade in this fight. Leon taking so much punishment. Shut down here from the side of FBX. We can see iBoy jumping in on top of Doom B. He's now over the wall trying to do his best. But look at this raid boss. That is Cube in the middle of this team fight. It was messy. It was not clean. It looks like it's still going on. You have to respect the CT that can come down right now. Cube, and you have to back away. And Fofo, the likes, they will still benefit from it if they are able to get that Dragon Soul. You can see, though, we are still seeing. They're just looking to try and get those extra standing towers that are just very easy for you to just push down like this from Doombee. And you look at the items down the board, like Doombee's on two items. He's okay to kind of be safe. He's actually slightly ahead of Fofo. And this is a test on two sides here, both for Ore and for FPX. Is FPX they're collapsing? They are going in. They're putting him in a bit of a vice as Hong tries to keep everyone away with the nature's grass. They end now caught between a rock and a Aatrox. Iboy is here. The Infernal Chain will bring him all the way back. Quick kill there. 3 3 3 for Nook. FBX can't just look for these plays. This turret was pretty much dead from the last Which is why he's posturing so aggressive. He's challenging FPX to step forward, step into his domain. LWX takes a chunk, half his HP. There's the Paranoia. TN down to almost nothing. They jump in. There's going to be a lot of damage put down, but nobody's following up on this, and they will eventually take down TN. Cube, though, in the back of this fight. LWX will be jumped on by iBoy as the rest of the fight does end up going down. It ends up being a four for one in favor of RA as Nuggery just has to watch on. And he will end up being stopped by Hung here. They're going to keep him at bay, but that was beautiful by RA, and we talked about Fofo. Soldiers at the gate, stopping FPX from getting into the river. any of that standing gold. This is just perfect from the side of RA to try and close this out and send us to a game four. Still just as well as you do into the later portion of the game. So this isn't a spike, it's a catch up. And they're being left in the dust. Being left in the dust and in the dark there. Leanne just popping in. The They've managed to hold on for one game. Looks like they'll be pushing us to a fourth in this series and they just need to keep the ball rolling, try and get this reverse sweep down. And for a team that certainly has gained a lot of fans over the course of this split, they would be heartbroken to see them go out in a manner like this. Track Repel does get used there by Crisp, and he has used to Feramancy as well. Top lane and mid lane both being seized down. Top lane inhibitor will be gifted over. There's still 45 seconds or a little under that of this Baron buff left. It becomes very difficult for now for the side of FBX to defend. They have to make a call because they'll lose everything if they don't do anything. Yeah, I don't even know who they're going to try and call here for support because they're all out. There's no real hope. Or A are doing such a good job of playing this slow, playing at range. I boy even threatening LWX free on the back line. Yeah, and these cannon minions are just doing work onto LWX's Hellfire bar as well. You can see top turret, a top inhibitor turret down, middle inhibitor down, bot inhibitor now down. That's three inhibitors gone off of one Baron push. They will lose the Baron buff now in the next two seconds. But that is the base left in ruin here for FBX. They need to try and find a fight before these resets come in. They're going to look for cube. They're trying to see if they can go for something. They have to use the TN ult defensively, and there's the Paranoia back in. Does drop the Living Nightmares. Hong flashes away, keeps himself alive. You can never get onto both parries, and especially when Fofo has the Banshee's Veil, he can reset these fights so well. Killer Instinct from my boy for the peel. Like, it becomes so hard for Chris to find these big engages. There we go! There's a three-man Magnet Storm as well. They're gonna get the Shockwave down, but Cube is just too tanky. He's got too much health. You went for the Miracle Engage, and you were not able to make it work. Everybody will fall. RA will pick up a win, and we go to a game four in this best of five series. It's a long path to victory here from FPX, and now RA, they gotta figure out some way to deal with it. We talked about the Gragas coming in as the uh, potential bot lane support here will be taken. 
to give a little bit of safety here for the bot side. But Honestly, has got the push there, and you can see Doombi just a little bit already kind of taking this one here. Nuggery will just drop down the seismic shard, see if he can get something oh, there. Cube. Cube is going to have to flash away, but they will still get first blood nicely done here. A strong lane like this. Well, Leanne actually, no Blast Cone here for him. There is no level 6, though, for Leanne. The charge. Goodbye, Dune B. You're off on the wrong side. Now, Tien's got a look at this guy. Got to go and like, well, I can just keep running you down. This is a 1v1 as for the moment. Nuguri is here. Will have his ultimate available to him. Will go forward with it. And that is just Leanne getting his hands caught in the cookie jar. But yeah, I would have honestly loved to see Cube maybe get more of a push from this. We can see now, speaking of push, Tien, though, there's going to be the shockwave. Leanne picks up a kill. Pressure up, especially as Rift Herald now spawning, but people can congregating around bot side. Oh, congregating around mid, Fofo just trying to be an absolute nuisance. Hong does not have oh, the top wave is being pushed in. That's where Doombi's just trying to cover right now, but Doombi might be getting pinched on two. Bear trap on a rope. He's going to be jumped in. Flash forward, knock up. They're going to be completely delete Leanne. The shockwave comes out. And you can see Sleepy Q, time. he's going to flash over the wall. He should be able to keep himself safe. Fofo has to flash as well. And FBX just find the better fight. And we just said it, although Nuggery don't want to take that trade. A little bit caught between no man's land. He's trying to just trade this one off. The last auto attack is not enough to kill him off. Now, with the Rift Herald down so damn low, it it's going to reset straight away. And all that time and effort you just contributed there from the side of RA just means nothing because their FBX rotated their support and first. And all the time you just bought Penguin, you wanted those uh, ultimates down. Well, they're not an eye boy. Where are you going? boy! LWX rightfully punishing him there. You should never be in that situation. Hong is there to try and get something, oh, but no. LWX... Oh, oh, no! Oh, no! LWX should be able to keep himself alive. He will get the reset. One more auto attack! Hong does end up redeeming this. there. They're going to have to give up this bot side. Hong and Fofo recognize that the rest of the charge was coming in. Everyone backs themselves away. First turret will go over. boy's just too far behind. Smart call. I mean, look, you already have one dragon in favor as Ore. Don't risk it now when you have such a crucial and easy to execute game plan. We right now, now pushes down this bot side. We'll be able to pick up that turret. So that'll be in response to the top one. So you get a dragon. Only about a thousand. A lot of turret going into himself. I like that from Leanne as well. He just kind of showed to Nuggery saying like, hey, look, I'm here. You can't walk up to this way if they get themselves another turret. This is the road to the map. Whenever do you know, uh, Leanne and Cube are able to get one turret. Doombi's there to answer for another. Tien in tow. Nuggery has no real wards to get to. He's now starting to roam up as we will get the charge here. But again, this is FPX winning. They forced Ore out of River. And side. nobody from the side of RA is even close to trying to contest this one. And now we're starting to see a little bit of a trend here. here. Cube in this bottom lane, because uh, we're about to get a taste of this dead. double combo. He's dead. Straight away, there's nothing he can do here. He tries to jump in, but he has no way of actually getting out. They're going to get the sleep. As I say that, though, the flash does come in. Nope, never mind. They're going to get a shutdown there. There's That's going down. Hong has to pop the Shirelia's battle dance to try and get into position. They're going to see it's gone. They're trying to deal. Leanne is very fast, though. They have the shockwave coming in. In, as we can see, Doombi going down. They oh, do down. get him. Oh, Fofo! Fofo! FPX. If Ore are together grouped at all, it's the go button for Nuggery as right. he leads his way in. Yeah, they are going to get They can still go. Hong, but Nuggery again, the co are. Now, they will spot them as they enter in towards this bot side to try and keep the tower. So this is where Ore feel comfortable moving into this jump. This is a little bit dangerous, though, for the side of FPX. Yeah, I was just going to say, they can jump in. There is the knock up, but they actually miss the swirl seed. So they're not able to get the damage down. They're not able to get the lilting lullaby. And now Nuggery, he's got no help bar. He can't defend this. And this is kind of falling apart. They tried to call the bluff. If he walks a little bit too far forward. Will be spotted, though, by that Scryer's Bloom. There's the, the charge. Shepard. He's going to jump onto Eye Boy. Eye Boy forced to use his ultimate over the wall. But Doombi's kind of separated himself. That's a good little explosive cast on the back side of this, but now everyone from FBX can just join in. iBoy is dead. Doombi is going in forward with LWX. Can they get anything else off this? I don't think they can. I think RA, you lick your wounds, you give over the dragon. It's not so point it yet. It may be even more, though. You still have 38 seconds there. I mean, you can get this dragon reset, and look at what was used by FBX. Yes, you've got the Magnet Storm, should be up in time for the Baron. You've still got the Lilia ult and Nuggery. So if Ore try and contest this, you've still got those two big... And melt it down. This is on Leanne or Fofo. It's on someone to steal it right now. They've got the Blast Cone. Do they look to try and go for it? They do. He jumps into the bit. Shockwave goes down. Not going to be able to get the steal. And Leanne is dead. They're Nuggery going. jumps straight onto the back side. And Cube is dead. The rest of Ore are almost certain to follow as FBX find the 
gun, pull the trigger, and take the fight. And RA have nowhere to go. There's only iBoy left standing. And once again, when it comes to team fights, when it comes towards Dragons, when it's crunch time for FPX, that veterancy lends itself. And the world champions from 2019 and 2020 stand tall against the storm. Here we go, they're going to be TPing in, it is a two-man defense here. You've got all five members of FBX up and available. The Nexus turrets are going to be up next after this mid lane inhibitor falls. Do you continue? I think you take the inhibitor, you back yourself up. Yes, it was very, very hypey, but you're not 100%. Oh, as a rate, you have to go for the full reset because moving through that topside jungle would be disaster if no great help. Very tense moment here. You still have 45 seconds left on this Baron buff. Should be okay enough. Oh, Fofo with the last second. Zonya still stopped Nugger. He's engaged, but there's all the damage in the world available to you. It's on iBoy to try and kill off LWX, but LWX gets the reset as he gets himself a double. Now he's safe, and the rest of RA are just scattered. FBX will get the final triple kill for LWX, and that's all she's got to write tonight. It's going to be FBX. 3-1 over RA, and they will book their ticket to fight against JDG. What a performance from FPX. Cool clamp collected. They wombo combo to victory, and there's nothing that RA can do to stop them. And the crowd...